How you doing, Keegan? Congratulations. Thank you. With Keegan O'Toole, who, uh, well, you're a returning champ. You won this tournament last year, but there wasn't a world tournament connected to it. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about the opportunity not only to wrestle again and win a national title, but to represent the U.S. at the juniors. Um, it was such an amazing first year at the University of Missouri. Uh, it was definitely hard with uh, the what we're going through right now, COVID and everything. So when I found out that there was no world championships back in November, I was kind of upset, but there was nothing I could do about it. Uh, I wanted the opportunity to compete and I got it. And then going through my freshman year at Mizzou was awesome. Didn't get the result I wanted at the national tournament, but uh, coming here, this was my sole focus. I've had three, four failed attempts at making cadet and junior world teams. And it feels amazing to finally get that done and be able to go represent the United States, which I've always wanted to do my entire life. Yeah, and then you're scoring points, right? In the finals, you know, you, you got tech and then, and then you shut them out with eight points and you were getting your techniques going. How, how good did you feel in this tournament? Were you able to show the kind of things you've been training for? Um, we have such an amazing coaching staff at the University of Missouri. Uh, Coach Kendrick Maple, Coach Brian Smith, Tyrell Todd, Don Bradley, Matt Manley, all of those guys. So it's uh, – it's so amazing to be a part of a team like that with such different styles, different ways of coaching that it's impossible not to get better. And I'm always one that wants to be the best at whatever I'm doing, whether that's wrestling or I recently took up skateboarding and I've been trying to uh -oh. get, I, yeah, Coach Maple isn't too happy about that. But, uh, you know, I just want to be the best at everything I do and try to excel as much as I can. So that's pretty much just my motivation. And also I've taken second at this tournament before I lost two matches back in 2019. So I wanted that revenge. So uh, to, to talk about your college season a little bit. I mean, you weren't happy with third place, right? Definitely not. <laughs> okay. But what, what did you take from the NCAA tournament that, that helps you coming into this one? Um, a big thing for me was uh, finishing my shots clean. Uh, back in high school, I could just take a shot and uh, I don't want to say people would fall over, but it definitely was a lot easier than finishing against division one uh, wrestlers. So after the national tournament, I took a little time off, healed my body. I've had some neck problems recently. So uh, just rehabbing that and not even doing too much live. I wrestled live one time leading up to this tournament since uh, NCAAs and uh, just getting my shot finishes crisp. And it really helped in that match. I, every time I got to a leg, I was either posting, running them out or uh, bringing it up and finishing clean. So that, that's what made the difference in all my matches at this tournament. So, uh, Kyle, you got anything? You go from high schooler to true freshman All-American. What kind of changes were made during that time period? Uh, definitely strength was a big one. Uh, Division one level wrestlers, they're men. <laughs> they're very, very strong. So I kind of been growing my whole life, so I never really got the opportunity to put on good muscle. Every time I would try to get bigger, I would just grow. So uh, – making that adjustment, you know, being able to get in the weight room, get stronger, wrestle with bigger guys that give me that feel. And then also just uh, believing in my coaches and trusting what they're telling me. Uh, I don't think there's anyone in the country that can scramble like I can and put up points on the board. So that's what I'm going to use during my wrestling. And I'm going to shoot. I'm going to attack. Um, I'm not going to sit in a hand fight and hold on. I'm going to move my feet and I'm going to scramble as hard as I can. And that's what you guys saw in those last couple of matches. So I've got Mike Finn from uh, Win Magazine. Uh, it'll be in your headset. Mike, you got something? Yes. Uh, congratulations, Keegan. Thank Does you. it surprise you that, that you are just a year removed from high school and what you've accomplished? And the fact that, that you could be next part of this next generation, you know, perhaps by 2024, have you even thought of that far ahead at all where you could be someday on the senior level? Uh, 100%. You know, I want to uh... – the Olympic champion. So 2024 is going to be my first run at trying to make that goal come true. And it's not going to be easy. That's for sure. We have such an amazing country with wrestling, you know, 74 kilos is probably one of the most loaded weight classes in the entire world. So I've definitely thought about that and definitely my training. Um, it's always going towards the next event, but ultimately I'm always looking at that end goal and uh, that's an Olympic champion. You just mentioned a guy like Kyle Dake and such, Burles and such. Yeah. Would you just love to just mess around with these guys and work out with these guys and learn from these guys at all? Or Oh, my gosh, yes. It would be almost a dream come true. I've been watching those guys wrestle since I was, you know, 9, 10, 11 years old. So to be able to actually be on the mat with them, and you know, I'm finally 
around their size, I would love to be able to uh, go in and wrestle with them. And I know it probably wouldn't go too well for me right now, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's the point, you know, they're, they're the next level and that's where I got to be. So wrestling with them would uh, definitely help me get there. Well, congratulations, Keegan. Good luck on your future. Thank you. So. Does it feel good to be close to Wisconsin? Oh yeah. Uh, this is a three hour and 40 minute drive for us from Columbia, Missouri. And uh, you know, I got my old club coach here He's watching me. Um, a bunch of my guys back at Askren Wrestling Academy were here, you know, being able to support them and they even be able to coach them a little bit because I always love trying to keep as close as I can to them, uh, stopping home all the time. I, I'm a big home guy, so I love going back home when I can and uh, training with Ben, Max, Askren, and uh, all the guys back at AWA. Well, hey, congratulations, Keegan. I mean, you've been wrestling great. We look forward to seeing you chase that gold this summer. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. You'll be well.